Hello everybody. I just want to send blessings to you uh, on this the holiest week of the year. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. As we journey through this holy week, the greatest week of the liturgical year of the church, we recall to mind the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done for us, his people, in the tremendous sacrifice that he made so that we would have life, life everlasting. And so, you know, just remember, we are the mystical body of Christ and wherever we go, the Lord Jesus is with us because he gave his life so that we would have life and that we would live forever. In these difficult times, we continue to bring the passion that we're going through with the coronavirus. We bring that to the Lord in prayer for discovering a, a cure and also healing for all peoples. And so as we go through this week then, it's a great week of prayer and awareness of the suffering in the world that Christ was part of in his humanity here on earth. But then we journey to uh, Easter, the great celebration. And at Easter, there we will sing the Alleluia, uh, celebrating the tremendous gift that he has given to us. So then as we journey on then this week, we will have Holy Thursday. We will have the mass at 7.30 in the evening. Then on Good Friday, we will have the Stations of the Cross uh, at 12 noon and then at 3 p.m. the liturgy of Good Friday, that solemn liturgy. And then on the Easter Vigil, Saturday at 7.30 in the evening, and then the Great Mass on uh, Easter Sunday at 9.30. I just want you to continue to take care of yourselves. You're in our prayer. We are aware very much of you. And, and I say we because I'm speaking on behalf also of Father Ten and Father Bernie, and they send their blessing and prayer to you also. So take good care of yourselves and mind yourselves when you're outside. Don't forget to wear your mask and uh, keep a distance from uh, everybody. And please God, in due time, we will get through this and we will be back together again as God's people in the church building. And so beside me is my faithful companion uh, here, Tara. Many of you have met her and uh, she sends her best wishes too. She's wondering what she's doing here, sitting in this chair with me. But yet, Anya, they're a great company. God bless you all, my dear people of God. Stay well and we will see you soon.